Yeah, with yeah. Haaland, I think the only the only criticism of his of his game for me is his heading. He doesn't quite score enough. Yeah, headers for someone for, six foot four, yeah. he should probably do better than that. But it, you know, it's not the modern way of the game, is it? You know, I was gonna he, say, he wouldn't yeah. have been brought up. He would have been all technical skills. You know, he's not going to have someone crossing the ball for him to go and out jump a defender when he was eight years of age. He wouldn't have been brought up like that. And going forward with all what's going on with the concussion and all that sort of stuff and the heading things and you know there'd be some legal stuff going on and that. Yeah. I think in 20 years' time, you know, you're not going to see players wanting to head the ball, even centre-halves. You know, in a good old-fashioned, the old diving headers and that that we used to see, I'm not sure we'll see goals like that, you know, because the players are reluctant. You know, they'll almost go for a volley. You know, when you get that ball comes across and it's it's sort of, it's sort too low to head, but it's too high to volley. And what yeah. they, they'll always go for the volley as opposed to just heading it sometimes. I think even Harlan yeah. done one early in the season where he missed a really bad one and all he had to do was head it and stoop down and he would have scored. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but the, the game will change in terms of heading without a doubt. What, but what, I agree with you. That's probably one of the what, one thing Jesse should do better in the year. What do you think the solution is to that? Is it like some kind of headgear they need to wear or? No, I don't think you could wear headgear. You know, I mean, I, think, I know the rugby boys doing that, but you're not getting. You're not in a scrum, are you? You're not getting smashed around. Like I mean, I, I yeah. can't believe what they do to rugby boys. I know, I know that's been calmed down a little bit in it to the the good old days when they used to have a scrap and everything. Um, and what can you do about heading? I, I don't know. I mean, I think I think you've got you've always got to head the ball. I think I just think there'll be a reluctance. Maybe it will be just amongst the young kids. You know, up to I don't know, maybe senior school age when you when you you're still growing as a young kid and that perhaps you don't want. I mean, I've as a young kid, I'd get the ball and I'd throw it in the air and just boom, 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 like I had my head in the ball. Like, it can't be good for the brain, you know, whatever yeah. way you look at it. But the only way I could perfect what I wanted to do was to practice my heading. And yeah, I lost yeah. your question, you three boys. If you get the answer, I'd be astonished, right? I scored 306 goals in my career total. How many goals were headers? Uh, 12. 12, okay. 54. 54 has gone high. I'll, I'll, I'll play uh, in, the middle, in the middle 20 <laughs> He's yeah. the I middle. got 20 44 is the answer 44 wow now okay. when you look and you know, you, how small I am and everything but I would never have scored those 44 goals without practising and yeah. that's my point so if you don't practise how on earth are you going to be out you know when the ball comes over from a cross how are you going to know how to head it where to head it, you know, touch the, timing, and, uh, timing with the headers. It, yeah, it? but it is. But yeah. if you don't practice, mm. you know, you know, if you if, if you say to young kids, oh, you're not allowed to head the ball until you're 15 or something, and then so when the ball comes in, what, what are they doing? They don't uh, what's overhead it? kick probably no. overhead kick or <laughs> yeah. try and chest it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So maybe the game yeah. will change, but f- uh, you know, I don't want to see heading banned and taken away because I think some of the best goals we've seen have been headers. I think Messi scored a header in the Champions League final. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Thinking, the other night. Did you see that? I didn't see that one, but yeah, I know he got his first header in 70 goals or whatever it is. Yeah, um, yeah. And you think of the best save ever by Golden Banks, it was a header from Pele. So if you take all that out of the game, we're not going to have best saves and best goals and everything. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see where it goes. And if you like that clip, you can catch the full episode here and you can subscribe to the channel here.